White line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man. Trap line sitting on a pipeline waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens. That's how we live, and it sure feels fine. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. Hey, everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name is Rodney Dupree, and today we got a good one for y'all. We're out at Lamar Dixon for the fifth annual South Louisiana Crawfish Balling Contest Festival. Y'all, we got 40 cooks cooking crawfish. We got 18 cooks cooking jambalaya. We got crackling cooks. We got mini pot cooks. We got good bands. We're gonna crown a champion. And y'all hang on. Cajun Living and Cooking's fixing to start right about now. All right, y'all made it over to one of the cooks. Uh, getting kind of tight right here. He's already got the lid on, so the rice must be in there. What? Yes, sir, just put it on. Got the rice going in, y'all. It's really cool. We got jambalaya cooks out here. We got crawfish cooks out here. We got crackling cooks out here. There's mini pot cooks. And uh, we're going to have a second heat on crawfish and on jambalaya. So uh, everybody's shooting to make that second round. How you looking on time, man? Uh, Ten minutes. Looking. Then I'm going to bleed it. And uh, then we're going to cook it for 30 more and she'll be done. You heard it right there, y'all. Everybody got their timing going on. As a matter of fact, they got some folks right here. How y'all looking, folks? Hey, we're doing a taste test. You want one? They're doing a taste test. Let me try one. These are good. Winners right here. These are good. That's a good job, y'all. What's your secret to your crawfish? There's none. There is no secret. You heard it first right here. Everybody uses the same types of seasoning. It's just some a little more, some a little less. That's it right there. Some got more, some got less. And y'all, this is Action Alley right down this aisle right here. You can see all the activities going on. We're going to walk along maybe and check some of them out. All right, y'all made it over to some more cooks. How y'all looking? How y'all looking? Looking good, Rodney. Looking good, buddy. You got everything in there? You want to soak? Oh, yeah. I'm soaking. You're ready. already soaking? Oh, yeah. We got another pot here. Y'all got jambalaya going? Jambalaya, yes, sir. Awesome. How y'all looking? Looking good. That's, that's it, y'all. Everybody's out here on timing. Everybody's out... Uh, wanting to have their crawfish hot to turn in at 10.30 so they can make that second round. That's right. Good luck to you. Thank you, brother. All right, y'all, where y'all at? Y'all done cooked them already? Yes, sir. Ready to go uh, give them to the judges. All right, how'd they come out? Came out great, not my opinion. One to 10? I'll give it a 10. We got a 10, y'all, another 10 right here. We cooking it up, we cooking it up. All right, y'all, made it over to some more cooks, bro. How's it going? Thanks, sir. Doing good, look like y'all have already soaked. Yes. So you're uh, hot. Pick up the bucket. How was the crawfish? That looked like some big crawfish. Yes, they were a lot better than last year. Yeah, hole in the wall sent the crawfish over this year. Hole in the wall seafood. They sent them over. They sent some nice sacks. They sent all 40 sacks to the cooks. Y'all having a good time out here? Y'all tried the crawfish? Y'all think they number one? They're always number one. There they are. Right there, number one. All right, y'all made it over. Looked like I done found some jambalaya cooks over here. How y'all doing? Good, yourself? Good. How are you? This is when you're getting ready, or how far are you along? You done got the rice going, or where we at? No, we about to, we skimmed the grease off the top to, to where we can put the rice in and get it get it to cooking. All right. Everybody's got the time, and like we're saying, even over here, it looked like they got some extracurricular stuff going on. Got the pit out. Got some uh, potatoes out there. This is fun stuff, y'all. This is a bunch of people coming together to have a good time, and we're going to crown a cook here soon. All right, y'all, made it over to another cook, crackling cook, and uh, you've already cooked yours. Yeah, I'm took them out, letting them cool, going to put them back in, repop them. And that's the whole key right there, letting them cool. Pretty much, yeah. And what temperature are you going to put them in, you think? They'll probably be around 400 degrees. And, and you put, put ice in yours? I do. You do? You, and that's when... Uh, all the fury sets up right there, y'all. You put the cracklings back in, hot grease, put the ice in it. Boom, you got cracklings popped. Hey, good luck to Hopefully. you. Hopefully. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. All right, y'all, I made it over to some more cooks. We got the crackling cooks here. Undoubtedly, they are ready to let them cool, and they're going to put them back in and pop them. We got a jambalaya cooking in the background over here. 
And we got crawfish cooking on this side, y'all. T Roy's. It ain't no better than that, y'all. All them in one spot. Cracklin's jambalaya and crawfish, y'all. Things are looking up. All right, y'all made it over to another cook. And this is one of the best of both worlds right here. We got the jambalaya going here. Where you at on it? Oh, uh, we we getting ready to put the rice in it right now. Okay, so you yeah. uh Simmering get, it. getting close to go time. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Let me get a smell of that. Let me get. Oh man, looking good. that looking good. <laughs> and they got the crawfish going on this side. Now where y'all standing on the crawfish? How we looking? We got it soaking right now. Oh, we soaking right yeah, now? We soaking, waiting on the crawfish to sink. Then we are gonna start tasting them. Look at this trick, y'all. He's got the he's got the lid on the top. And he's got a ice jug holding them down. So all them crawfish want to float up, but he's got them underwater. That's a good trick right there. They start sinking there. We're going to drop them jugs of ice down in there to kind of soak up the season. You know? And there we go. Another technique. The jug of ice will go in. The crawfish will soak up the flavor. And we might have a winter, winter crawfish dinner right here. All right, y'all made it over to some more cooks. How y'all looking over here, fellas? Looking good? Looking good? I see that. We come walking over now what y'all got? Uh, y'all got crawfish sack here? Yeah, we just got two chains from each uh, sacks. Okay. So we each doing the sack. Now, uh, how y'all, y'all all right with your timing or how things are looking? Oh, yeah, we're going to have them just in time. So 1030, got to have them. Gotcha. And I heard the crawfish already have, the jumble already has the rice in it, y'all on time with that. Yeah. That's cool, man. And uh, y'all were here last year. And, uh, this is our fourth year now. Fourth year. And y'all looking for first place this year. And you might have it here, y'all. This might be your first place team. All right, y'all made it over to another booth, and I got some really cool stuff going on over here. Everybody's got one top and the other one. We got uh, sweet potatoes coming off. He got a little brown sugar, he said, goes on these sweet potatoes. He doesn't cook some Buddha in there. And I'm going to tell you what, they got it all. They got oranges, they got lemons, they got onions, they got the secret seasoning. I'm going to tell you what, things are really looking up over here. Uh, over on this side, we got some more action going on. Let me see if I can get around to those guys. All right, y'all made it over to another booth, and I thought I'd seen it all. I got another one going right here. Got the sausage, got the sweet potato, and the meatballs. What inspires uh, the meatballs, where that comes from? Uh, actually, to spread the crawfish out, we decided to throw some Italian-style meatballs in there with uh, the history of Louisiana being a plethora of people from different backgrounds. We decided to throw some Cajun twang with some Italian style, and uh, you'll be pleasantly surprised. He's rocking it. That's good, y'all. Oh, and they got the heat. The heat will catch you on the back end. I now. feel the heat now, y'all. We've seen it all now. We're going to find somebody putting a small goat maybe later on in one of their crawfish pots. You never know what you're going to find in the crawfish pots. Look, good luck to you. I appreciate it, sir, and it's an honor to compete and a privilege to be here. Uh, I love uh, being around south louisiana folks and uh i appreciate the opportunity thank you thank you all right y'all made it to some what's up Carl? what's happening dude how y'all been hey man look like y'all right on time you yeah, done so right you uh ready. now i know you uh put a little blanchard's blend in your now uh so you have crawfish blanchard's blend to enhance the flavor right that's pretty good stuff bro now, uh, I see you got the corn and all the traditional stuff. Well, I done seen some stuff here today. I done seen from meatballs to sweet potatoes, man. It's really gonna, cool stuff. You're going to see it. Uh, how y'all feeling? One to ten. How you looking? Uh, about eight. About eight? All right, cool. We'll see you in the second round then. Good luck. Yeah, all right, y'all made it over to some more cooks uh, sitting back here and enjoying yourself. Now, uh, you in the crawfish balling contest, how you looking? I'm looking pretty good. Looking good. Now on a scale of 1 to 10, you tasted your crawfish. Where are you at? About a 12. <laughs> Off the chart. Now you tried some. What, what would you say? Oh, yeah. It's definitely good. Definitely. That's the second right there. So here it is, y'all. We're getting close to picking it up. So we're fixing to haul all the crawfish for judging. So y'all hang on. All right, y'all made it over to turn in. And they're bringing their buckets in now. Each team, there's 40 teams. Each team is bringing their bucket for judging. This is when it's uh, getting pretty tight right here. They're scooping them up. They wanted to soak them long enough. They wanted to get the seasoning in it. Here it is. It's turn in time right now. We're going to see who wins this. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. 
All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com. Hole in the Wall Seafood is back open and better than ever with South Louisiana's cleanest and best tasting crawfish. Now offering catering and on site crawfish and shrimp balls. Or just stop by to get live and bald crawfish, fresh and bald shrimp, blue crabs, and local caught catfish. And your favorites, corn, potatoes, and sausage. But don't forget those cracklings you've come to love. Hole in the Wild Seafood, where quality matters. Miss D Sweet Sensations is a wholesale sweet shop located in Santa Maria, Louisiana. The business is locally owned and operated by Diane Bro. Now with 12 delicious varieties to choose from. You can find Mrs. D's Sweet Sensations in all of your local supermarkets and convenience stores. Made fresh daily by six full-time employees right here in Ascension Parish. Hey, store owners, restaurants, and caterers, if you're not selling Mrs. D's Sweet Sensations, you're not selling the best product on the market. Vassery Fuel is back. Founded in the 1940s, Vaseline Fuel is still the region's only locally owned propane company and we are proud to service our commercial and residential customers. Vaseline Fuel offers both bulk propane and exchange tanks that have over 20% more fuel than any other brand. Exchange cases can be found at your local retailers like Hole in the Wall Seafood, Rouse's, Two Rows, and Rouse Supermarket. The guys over at Galvez Hardware can refill that tank and qualify your out-of-date bottle. Give Vassery a fuel call at 985-447-3668 for all your propane needs. Junior's Meat Market has everything you need when you're going to the camp, tailgating, or planning dinner. We make our own cracklings, beef jerky, all-cut cheese, and sausage right here in the store. We also process deer and hogs. Junior's Meat Market has an abundance of groceries and frozen items, which include crab cakes, fried oysters, tilapia, and more. We have daily meat specials, and we cook plate lunches every other weekend. Stop by Junior's Meat Market today and bring home dinner. The new, completely renovated Fred's on the River Food Mark, located at the Port Vincent Bridge, is now back open and better than ever. With biscuits, coffee, and sandwiches ready every morning at 4.30 to get you started. And a full breakfast menu from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. featuring homemade hash browns, pancakes, eggs, and our country-style biscuits and gravy. Our newly renovated store has all your needs from local vendors, plus cold beer, lottery, gas, and tobacco. Try our new lunch and dinner menu featuring our famous boat launch burger, overstuffed New Orleans-style pressed po' boys, 100% beef hamburgers, pizza, and by far the best onion strings you have ever tasted. So come by and enjoy Fred's on the River Food Mart, where we've come back bigger and better than ever, but we haven't lost our hometown feel. Hi, Paul Irwin here, your local real estate expert with Keller Williams, Red Stick Partners, servicing Baton Rouge, Ascension, and Livingston Parish. There it is, I found your dream home. Well, to download this amazing Keller Williams app, simply scan the QR code down at the bottom of your screen. Go ahead and give that a try now, or you can give me a call or a text at 225-290-3363, and make sure you share the app with everyone. Thank you, and happy house hunting. Inside, uh, most of the food's ready. Uh, you can come up and buy your crawfish by the tray. We got all the t shirts back here. Uh, we have jambalaya right here. You can get the, the jambalaya. Uh, the cracklings are in the big bags. Look at that, a big old bag of cracklings for $5. That is really cool. Really cool. Coming on down, we got uh, Uncle Larry's crew back here. They have the uh, stew and a few, and they also have the A2 Fay back here and shrimp stew. So we got a little bit of everything back here. As we walk it on down, the uh, Mr. D sweets, some of the best sweets you will ever eat in your life. I'm talking from the ooey gooey's to the pralines to the fudge 
just amazing food. She's here every year, y'all. She's here every year doing really good stuff. Over here at the end, this is where we get into the fancy stuff. This is uh, Nick. Nick from Two Rows. Nick's has uh, all kind of stuff he's serving. He's got the hot sausage po' boy. He's got the Cajun fries. The, bo the best boudin you will ever eat is from Two Rows. How's it going, Nick? What's up, Ron? How you doing, brother? Doing good. It's unannounced, doing good. but that's all right. There we go. I just walked up and caught him selling food. And that's what it's all about, y'all. Everybody coming together out here and everybody having good food. Here it is right here. This is some of that boudin I was telling y'all about. I love Nick. That's some of the best food you'll get, y'all, out here. And look at this. Everybody's getting good food. So y'all hang on. We're going to crown a champion soon. Come on, Greg, give me a little something. Ow! y'all this is what it takes a crowd of people like this this is all volunteers out here we got from the fire department from good friends from kids from school we got football players and we got a little bit of everybody out here y'all and that's what it takes to get something like this done everybody coming out here we got three five thousand pounds of crawfish y'all they washing them they bringing them to the rigs thanks to duck roost thanks to hole in the wall that's how the crawfish get done out here for this festival from good help Yeah. But you can't eat the shell.
right, y'all, we made it inside, and we have the Cajun Living and Cooking booth, and we had a sack of crawfish donated by Hole in the Wall, which we're going to give away. And we've got my man right here. What's your name? Shane. All right, Shane. Shane's going to reach in there and grab one without looking. He's reaching in. And the winner is? Who's the winner? Chara Thigpen. Chara Thigpen. We got a phone number. We're going to call her up. We're going to call her up, and we'll be telling you who won. And good luck. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com Hole in the Wall Seafood is back open and better than ever with South Louisiana's cleanest and best tasting crawfish. Now offering catering and on-site crawfish and shrimp balls. Or just stop by to get live and balled crawfish, fresh and balled shrimp, blue crabs and local caught catfish and your favorite corn potatoes and sausage but don't forget those cracklings you've come to love hole in the wild seafood where quality matters misty's sweet sensations is a wholesale sweet shop located in santa Mar, louisiana the business is locally owned and operated by diane bro now with 12 delicious varieties to choose from you can find Mrs. D's Sweet Sensations in all of your local supermarkets and convenience stores. Made fresh daily by six full-time employees right here in Ascension Parish. Hey, store owners, restaurants, and caterers, if you're not selling Mrs. D's Sweet Sensations, you're not selling the best product on the market. Vassarine Fuel is back. Founded in the 1940s, Vassarine Fuel is still the region's only locally owned propane company and we are proud to service our commercial and residential customers. Vassarine Fuel offers both bulk propane and exchange tanks that have over 20% more fuel than any other brand. Exchange cases can be found at your local retailers like Hole in the Wall Seafood, Rouse's, Two Rows, and Ralph's Supermarket. The guys over at Galvez Hardware can refill that tank and qualify your out-of-date bottle. Give Vassarie a fuel call at 985-447-3668 for all your propane needs. Junior's Meat Market has everything you need when you're going to the camp, tailgating, or planning dinner. We make our own cracklings, beef jerky, whole cut cheese, and sausage right here in the store. We also process deer and hogs. Junior's Meat Market has an abundance of groceries and frozen items, which include crab cakes, fried oysters, tilapia, and more. We have daily meat specials, and we cook plate lunches every other weekend. Stop by Junior's Meat Market today and bring home dinner. The new, completely renovated Fred's on the River Food Mark, located at the Port Vincent Bridge, is now back open and better than ever. With biscuits, coffee, and sandwiches ready every morning at 4.30 to get you started. And a full breakfast menu from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. featuring homemade hash browns, pancakes, eggs, and our country-style biscuits and gravy. Our newly renovated store has all your needs from local vendors, plus cold beer, lottery, gas, and tobacco. Try our new lunch and dinner menu featuring our famous boat launch burger, overstuffed New Orleans-style pressed po'boys, 100% beef hamburgers, pizza, and by far the best onion strings you have ever tasted. So come by and enjoy Fred's on the River Food Mart, where we've come back bigger and better than ever, but we haven't lost our hometown feel. Hi, Paul Irwin here, your local real estate expert with Keller Williams, Red Stick Partners, servicing Baton Rouge, Ascension, and Livingston Parish. There it is, I found your dream home. Well, to download this amazing Keller Williams app, simply scan the QR code down at the bottom of your screen. Go ahead and give that a try now, or you can give me a call or a text at 225-290-3363, and make sure you share the app with everyone. Thank you, and happy house hunting.
right, all right, y'all made it into the judging room, and it's it's usually quiet when everybody's eating in here. So uh, we got some good. Look like hot crawfish for y'all. They just pulled them out and they just brought them in. How, how's it going, Halen? They tasting good? These are all good. I'm really impressed with the second round. This crew right here took time to stack theirs, and we're all pretty impressed about uh -oh. that. They got all the claws pointed in. Not quite as hot, though. Gotcha. These are a little bit hot, hot. Okay. This is the end you've been working on down here. Yeah, I'm just making my way down. That's my system. You know, I okay. start ranking As them. you go, going down. Go. How are we looking down here, fellas? You got good crawfish? Good, good crawfish? They good. Good? They good. Good. Y'all, look at that. Steaming out of there. Good crawfish. The judging's going, and we got a winner coming very soon, so hang on. All right, y'all made it into the jambalaya judging room and uh, found Mr. Wally and other judges in here. What do you think about these final six, Mr. Wally? Uh, it's all top of the line jambalaya. They're all good, except one a little on the light side. Uh -huh. All good edible jambalaya, though. So we're going to have a champion out of this. Oh, yeah. We're going to pick first, second, and third, I think. Huh? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, y'all heard it right here. Good jambalaya for the finals, and y'all hang on. We got a winner coming. All right, y'all, I got the winner here, Chris Tribo, and he rocked it, y'all. He, he really tore her up right there. Now, uh, who do you want to thank for your crawfish eating expertise? Ah, my stomach, because I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. You got to come back next year and defend that title. Yeah, yes, sir. I took second last year, so this oh, year I got so it. You've been practicing. <laughs> Congratulations, bro. All right. The winners, y'all. This was tough competition. Are we gonna let them say their names and where they're from? I'm Luke Fletcher from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Paul Jangrosa from Prairie Grove. Now you cooked in this before and had set. Uh, tell me what you won before. Every year I've cooked in it, uh, from uh, Galvez Hardware up to here. So two thirds and now you got the big one. Who you want to thank for this? Who would you like to thank? Uh, only one person. Well, actually two. God and my father. Awesome. That is very awesome. I tell you what, congratulations, and you got to come defend it next year. Absolutely. Thank y'all. All right, y'all, what a fun day. What a great day, and it took a lot of people for this to happen. I want to thank all the sponsors. I want to thank all the volunteers. I want to thank everybody who was a part of this. I can't mention names because it'd be too many. It'd take a whole show to announce everybody who was part of this. Next year is May 4th. Mark it on your calendar now. May 4th. I'm hoarse. We had so much fun out here. We had a great time, y'all. We got a new champion. And I tell you what, we're going to do it again next year. And I want to thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking.